Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and this lecture is about thyroid, hypothyroidism, and how to bring your thyroid back to health. So, um, there are certain foods and supplements to take to bring it back to health, and also there are things that need to be removed to get the bad stuff out of your thyroid. And this is the general plan to revive your thyroid. Now, in the past, I've had patients who were given thyroid medications by the medical doctor who said, you'll be on this for the rest of your life. We've gotten those people, we have gotten those people off those medications. Um, so it is possible. And the one woman, she was on a, some sort of thyroid medication for over 50 years. Once we got the right nutrients in her body, it took a year and a half, and her thyroid numbers started to normalize, and the doctor started reducing her drugs, her one drug, and uh, after a year and a half, she was off the thyroid medication and everything was good. So, you, the things you want to add, good fats. Your thyroid hormones, just like all hormones, are made out of fat. And they need to be fed by mouth. you got to feed your hormones fat when you, by eating fat. Next is iodine. Extremely important. And this is bashed in uh, medicine. And I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff online about iodine. Iodine is one of the coolest nutrients. It makes people smart. It makes their IQs go up. It makes people physically stronger, muscularly stronger, better endurance. It changes people like no other nutrient that I've seen. It brings up their metabolism. I had a woman lose nine pounds in one week by adding iodine. Um, it makes people warmer. When people are cold all the time, they gotta, you got to look at these two things, good fats and iodine. Um, and then eat thyroid gland. So I was told by a nutritionist that 120 years ago, you can go to any major city and buy a thyroid sandwich at a stand on the sidewalk, just like you can buy hot dogs now. So we have supplements that are pure thyroid gland. Nothing is added and nothing is subtracted. The FDA is cool with it because there's no like extra hormones um, or hormones manipulated. And uh, our source is from South America, and, and the cows are organic. Um, and we have porcine. We have pig thyroid, too, organic. And it's phenomenal. It make, like I said, it brings people back to life. I've had people tell me that they love their thyroid medication. And um, then I ask, well, how much better do you feel with it? And the answer is usually anywhere from 40 to 60%. I've never had anybody say I feel 100% better with my thyroid medication. Because there's always room for improvement with the thyroid. There's, there's always a little bit of extra iodine that you can take or, you know, or something else. Um, a, a, a complex of minerals is also pretty important. Um, we have several uh, minerals that have a little bit of extra iodine added in there. So um, this is how you approach adding in the good stuff. Let's talk about removing the bad stuff. So uh, we often find some sort of immune challenge, some sort of bug like a virus or bacteria or parasite affecting the thyroid. Commonly, it's a virus. That's why I wrote virus here. And then second, and then second we have toxins that could be chemicals or metals. Um, and I, the problem, the, the thing with toxins and chemicals and metals is that we're breathing and we're eating, and this stuff passes right by the thyroid before it goes into the stomach or into the lungs if you're you know, breathing. So it's, it can be very toxic right here at the thyroid. And um, so if your thyroid is toxic or has a virus in there, this doesn't do too much. And it doesn't really fix the problem. You'll always have to take all these nutrients if you're toxic or if you have some sort of immune problem in the thyroid, like a virus or bacteria or something like that. So I uh, just want to stipulate that we don't have antibacterial supplements. We don't fight infections. What we do is we feed the immune system so that the immune system can take care of these bugs on their own. And I never like find out what specific virus it is or what specific bacteria it is. That's against my license. But it doesn't matter anyways because we want the body to take care of it. And we can load the body up with great nutrients and great herbs and the body starts wiping out all kinds of bugs. And... Um, when that happens, sometimes people can have excess runny nose or cough or whatever. And then we just have, add a supplement to dry that up. Not a big deal. We've had a lot of people go through this and we fix up their thyroid. 
So don't, don't be intimidated by what I'm saying here. And I wrote this up here because I had a woman once, she, her TSH, her thyroid stimulating hormone was 115. What that means is her pituitary, which excretes the thyroid stimulating hormone, was trying to stimulate the thyroid like, hey, wake up, start making thyroid hormone. And the normal number is, should be around 2. Hers was 115. So it means her thyroid was kind of asleep and her pituitary was overactive trying to make it wake up. So we did the pure thyroid gland and it gave her some iodine and it took five and a half months and then her number went to down to two and that was it and it's good and everything is cool. So um, no drugs required, huh? Go figure. So there's the, um, the lowdown on hypothyroidism and um, you just have, you know, I don't know where you live in the United States, around the world, you just got to get the right doctor. And you can take this information in there. Don't mention my name, because <laughs> they might get mad at me. But take this information in there and say, hey, look, I've been researching, and there's been some success with, these kind of, this, with this kind of approach. All right, so have fun with this.